Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and I'm here to share with you a contemporary fresh design, a volumetric column based upon red dogwood and sunflowers, perfect for the autumn season. To begin, you want a very sturdy, straight-sided container. So I'm using this ceramic pot very round, but very straight. It doesn't flare outward or cup inward. That's the trick with this volumetric styling. Then foam, I packed wet foam, pre-soaked with flower food, in the bottom. A good inch and a half below the lip. I don't want anything to extend above. It's a solid covering of wet foam, just wedged into place. Don't need any tape or anchor pins. It's certainly not going to jump out of there. The dogwood is going to create the walls of my column. So I have to determine how tall do I want them to be. And then I cut them all to the same length using a pruner. And I do this ahead of time. Just makes it easier so that then when you go to work, you don't have to worry about it. And go back and grab more branches and always make sure to use your measuring that they all stay the same length. and then discard the ones that are going to be too short. Those won't work, so set them aside. You could use them in something else. Now, of course, you've got side laterals. I don't worry about those. I go ahead and leave them on for the time being, but cut them all so that they're going to stay within the length that you have set as your top. Then go ahead and place them into the pot right parallel to the sides of the container. So it's going straight down as far as I can, right at the parallel side of the container, and repeat that for solid coverage, squeezing them together as close as possible. And I go around the pot three quarters of the way. So I'm going to continue and continue on. But as I get to this back side, I place them in, but I leave enough room for my hand so that I can continue filling easily without wrestling with it. I'm going to go just one more, and then I'm going to stop. I'll fill that last after I'm all done, so that I have room to sneak in and out if I need to. Now, I don't have solid coverage yet, so I go back with more pieces and just keep adding them in in a parallel fashion until I get total solid coverage on this three quarters round. Now comes the fun, easy part, adding the flowers. If you forgot to leave that hole, take some things back out, because you're going to want to be able to get your hand in there. I'm going to turn that side to face me so that I can work within. And then you just take your flowers and cut them so that they're going to be perched right atop and down all the way into the foam so that they'll drink well. So I give it a cut and slide my hand inside and then pull it down until it nestles to the very bottom. Go back, pick another, slide it in, nestle it down. I can come from the front as long as I stay inside. Maybe another one of the larger ones. Turning it to see where my holes might be. This one's face doesn't look good, so I'm going to twist him. And then I'm going to add another one beside him. 
through the inside, catching it, pulling it down, turning, checking, and checking. I think I want a couple more nestled in here. Maybe right through the center that's going to go over the top. Pulling it snug, tipping heads back. Turning, checking. And you'll notice some of my leaves come out. I leave them. It gives it a little more character, a little personality. In fact, I want one more with some leaves coming out on this side. So I'm going to tuck it in intentionally to get the leaves to show. I'm going to have to work a little harder to do that. When it happens by accident, it's a lot easier. There. Now I've got some leaves on that side, too. Then once I'm complete with my sunflowers, I go back and I fill in the back side, adding more of the red dogwood to conceal and tuck and finish my column. Pulling the leaves out where I want them. Then I turn it enhancing where I might want another stick or two to fill it in a little more. Working it in tight. Then the little ones that were too short, you can use to enhance and fill to get a little more solid coverage. Turning, spinning, checking to see if it's a solid column and determining where else you might want sunflowers. This one's coming out a little bit. I can scooch him in so that he gets a little more tightly compacted to the others. After I'm finished, I can always go back and add another if I desire. Last step is to enhance and tidy it up so that you have a solid column without all these little prickly things sticking out. To finish it, a little bit of the copper aluminum wire wrapped around will secure it in place. So I take a length and then pull it tautly so it stays approximately the same diameter as it started on the bottom. I pull it taut, make a determination where I want it, give it a twist so it'll stay put. Then do that again at about the mid-level. Pull it taut. And then one last time down at the base. Then I can go back and tidy up by placing the sticks onto the interior or if they don't go in the way I want them, clip them. This is where you would prune those little extra bits that maybe don't want to behave and stay where you want them. And this is also where you would go back, take an extra sunflower, determine where you need it to enhance and cover. So you turn and look. And actually, I may not need another sunflower. It may be just fussing with the sunflowers I already have and pulling on the leaves, getting those exactly where I want them. Take some out, 
pulling some so that they show a little better. Getting rid of some hairy little tendrils here. If they don't behave, they've got to go. Sunflowers are at their peak right now. Soon the frost will come and they won't be quite as lovely. So be sure and gather yours and get started now. For more fun and creative ideas for working with the sunflower, look for our October and Sunflowers DVD. It's set for public release the second week of October. So mark your calendars. There's grand inspiration, creative tricks, tips, and techniques, all with the beautiful sunflower. Now, as you're working, if you can't find supplies or if you need help, check out our website. We have everything that I used on sale there, flowerschool.com. And if you just have questions, call me at 1-800-819-8089. Once you get yours done, send me an email with a photograph. I love to see what you create. My personal email is leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. But hurry, get some sunflowers, have fun, and do something you love.